She's here. Got everything? Yeah. Okay, ready? The two of you will go away. You have a nice time. It'll be good for you. A little bit. These are very small glasses. I know that I haven't been the greatest friend. Excuse me, I'm, <laughs> haven't I seen you in, in something? Well, you're in TV, right? This is uh, this is my friend Anna. She's she's also an actress. <gasps> Have I seen you in anything? No, I would be surprised. God, you're so lucky to get paid to do what you love. <laughs> what is it? It's just a really dumb horror movie. You have to take your clothes off. It's like the tenth time in two years. You ever feel like a whore? <laughs> do you ever feel like a whore? Disgusting. I've just never seen someone look at me with so much disgust. <laughs> Jesus, you are so innocent. <laughs> We're gonna die out here, and it's your fault. Your life is over. My life is over. <laughs> It'll all be over soon enough anyway, it's right. Hey, Vale here. Like me, are you a movie lover? Well, a list has been released of the top 100 films of the 21st century, and we have cut it down to give you the top 10 films as selected by 177 film critics from around the world. At number 10, No Country for All Men by Joe and Ethan Cohen from 2007. At number 9, A Separation by Asghar Farahadi from 2011. Number 8, Yee Yee, A One and uh, A Two by Edward Yang from 2000. Number 7, The Tree of Life by Terence Malik from 2011. Number 6, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind by Michael Gondry from 2004. Number 5, Boyhood by Richard Linklater from 2014. Number Number four, Spirited Away uh, by Ayao Mikayadzi uh, from 2001. Number three, There Will Be Blood by Paul Thomas Anderson from 2007. Number two, In the Mood for Love by Wong Karvai from 2000. And number one, Mulholland Drive by David Lynch from 2001. Do you agree with this list? How many of these films have you seen? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you haven't already done it, to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases. Bye-bye.